Sure. We'll call the meeting to order at about 5.30. And call that chance to review the minutes. So motion to yes. approve those? Yes. Uh, motion to approve the minutes. Okay. October 4th. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Uh, Any questions? I'll second it. Sure. Okay. Um, financial statements, uh, warrants? Yes. Turn it over to you. I have the warrant yeah. here totaling $156,813.19. Okay. Thank you. I also emailed the results of operations expenditure report yesterday. I don't know if yes, folks need you. a paper copy or <coughs> got a copy. Got a copy too. Sure. I have what we wrote on. <laughs> Do you guys want to? Yeah, yeah. I think you just move out the board. Yeah. What is that? I'll take your copy. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. We can try it over here. Yeah, but he's not going to take it back. Oh, okay. Thanks. Um, in terms of results, there's nothing significant to report. We did do a few adjustments. Um, if you notice up in the school committee line, we had that overexpenditure for the school committee conferences uh, that we addressed by moving school committee supplies and materials downward to cover um, school committee supplies and materials. Looking back last, last year, almost nothing was expended, so um, mm -hmm. historically that doesn't get charged. We also moved the salary for the business manager to financial services for the business manager to accommodate for the change in the way um, business management services are being handled this fiscal mm -hmm. year. So, um, so where is that now? Is it under the same? If you look, if you look about halfway down the page, and you look in the adjustments, column, <coughs> there's a negative twenty-four five thirty-nine ninety-nine. They got moved from salaries business manager, three more lines down to finance professional service. <coughs> okay. The only other item uh, is we have salaries for long-term subs, because we have a long-term sub uh, who's covering. And I guess one of the things I need to research with you is whether or not the person who is, this, that this person is covering is out on paid leave or not paid leave. Right. What? I said, right. Okay, yes, so we can chat about that. Because yeah. it's often that long-term subs is not often funded because number one, you never know whether you're gonna have it or not, and then number two, if the person who's out doesn't have enough sick time, then their salary isn't being paid. So usually it's an offset, and it's usually more than an offset. So that's probably one item that we'll research going forward. Uh, other than that, there was nothing overly significant in the, in the budget, no overages. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Good to hear. You yep. have any questions? Um, one other, oh, sorry. Thank you. Yep. Yep, that's okay. The one other thing in the box, right? Dave. Dave, okay. Yeah. So are you, so I'm, you've emailed Bob the chair, so I need to email you the end of the year report. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's no Bob Bob's on Bob's Frontier. Bob's Frontier. Yeah. Okay. Dave, David's. Uh, okay, no, I did email you, Dave. Okay. Yeah. I was looking, I emailed both, so I was thinking of the wrong email. So a little short time ago, I emailed you a copy of the end of the year report because we completed the end of the year report and submitted it to Desi. Okay. But one of the things you've probably seen in years past is there's a certification statement that says, to the best of your knowledge, it's accurate. Okay. I don't know if you actually review the end of the year report, but I sent it to you Thoroughly. so that you can. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did I get that in the last hour? Yes. Or do you, oh, okay. That's yeah. why I haven't seen it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Super. Thank you. <clears throat> so. So, so I can either leave this with you if you want to review it first and sign. Okay. Ultimately, I have to send the wet ink, ink signature in, so I have to get your signature, I have to get Darius signature, and then I have to go to the town okay. accountant for a signature. Okay. Well, I'm, only, I'm only going to sign it if you sign it first. I think it. I think it. <laughs> okay. So um, let's talk about this after. Sure. Okay. Great. Um, anybody have any questions? No. No. Okay. <clears throat> Public comment. Nobody today. No. You must be doing a good job. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Is the meeting close to staff? Okay. Um, so, unfinished business, a discussion of some capital project update. 
that? Uh, I'll do that. So um, Trevor, Bob, and I met back in October of 2011, and we discussed the bathroom renovations, uh, courtyard of restoration out front, and um, gym floor. Also continuing with the carpet replacement. Hi, Jan. Hi, Jan. Um, Bob is researching, and he's going to get more uh, budget and pricing and plans to give a more detailed report at the December meeting. Okay. All right. Um, anybody have any questions? Came about that? No. No. Okay. Uh, school improvement plan. Yeah. So you guys have a copy in front of you. Um, we met with the school council. It was written last year as a two-year plan. School council agreed to keep it um, going. A lot of the goals and objectives are um, you can apply year after year. We did mm -hmm. update some of the time frames um, with fall, winter, spring, rather than having two years in there to just kind of give it a little bit more detail. A lot of our focus this year is going to be looking at the community um, service day. That's our big, um, well, all of them, but a big piece that we haven't really tackled yet is just establishing a school wide community service day. Right. That really does want to That's a good idea. Doing that. Yeah. Does Sunderland do a school wide? They do. It's not by grade or anything, yeah. but school, school wide. Yeah. 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 Do you know what time of tail would they typically do? Like, find a they can do it within the school, um, the school building or the community, and the teachers yep. sometimes by grade level will pick a project and, and go, go either out, yeah, or That's tackle great. or do something around the building. So. Yeah. How many Sunderland half the size, third less than half the size of us? I think about half. Mm -hmm. One sixty-eight. We're about one hundred sixty-eight students about Sunderland. No, someone's over two hundred. Is it over two hundred? Yeah. And we're about four hundred. Yeah. yeah, I think there someone's two thirty. I guess okay. right there, so they're about the third, right? Yeah, about, yeah, about half. About yeah, half. But I'll go with the third. Uh, you're right, sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm correct you on TV. Not doing that. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, right. Where where is that in here? Just try to see. It is under. Oh, I've got it. Jan has pointed that. Jan pointed it out for you. Great. The guy comes in here and it's like. <laughs> He's on it. Don't try him. Really He's probably been looking at it on yep. the website, so <laughs> okay. good job, Jan. <laughs> Before they approved it? Last year. Oh. Two year plan. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> All right. Um, that sounds good. Anybody have any questions about this? If not, um, uh, we generally will vote on this to approve the school improvement plan. Make a motion to approve the school improvement plan for 2017 2019. Second. Second. Great. All in favor? Uh, Good. Okay. Um, I don't have any formal reports. Uh, anything from Elaborate? I saw, uh, Bill, I saw Bill today on the mass bike. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's doing good. He said the, the conference was good, and uh, I don't know if you probably saw him out there. That's all my report I have. <laughs> and the cap <laughs> collaborative meets tomorrow. Oh, yeah, okay. it's in Greenfield tomorrow. Okay. Oh good, great. Uh, Tina, back to you. Okay. Well, this is like my meeting today. Yes, it is. So. Um, <clears throat> see what we're doing. We're, we're starting some data meetings now in grades 3 through 6. Um, teachers are going to be meeting to discuss some of their district assessments, but a cool, I think it's relatively cool because I'm loving data, but um, Louise and our IT department really pushed forward with uh, some creating these tar charts that are color-coded. So if we put in our district assessments uh, in the top, this is kind of what I was giving you. It gives us a great way to look at student data and look for patterns and trends and focus our interventions. Um, so this is pretty this um, is, neat. So this is grade four an as an this example. Is a, yeah, just an yeah. example of grade four. Um, 
really it's using power school so we use power school for um, yep. our standards based assessments and so when they put the assessments in it automatically color codes it and kind of spit this out so then when we go to meet we have these in front of us we can look at maybe there's a classroom or allocate resources and really pinpoint uh, where we need to focus our interventions so mm -hmm. we'll be meeting this week actually with grades three through six um, we're continuing our grades K through three. We do an RTI type data um, meeting, so we look at literacy and math. And another um, universal screener that we're implementing is the Devereaux Student Strength Assessment, which is um, the second step edition. So it's a research-based behavior rating scale that um, partnered with the Committee for Children on second step, and we're using that to assess some of the student <coughs> skills in their social emotional competencies and that's going to help us to determine uh, groups and to focus our instruction with the social emotional piece as well. So, you guys don't have to keep looking at those now. No, I'd like to study it. How, how, is this like individuals? Yeah, yeah. Yes. so across yeah. the so line, okay. um, yeah, it fine. would be last name, first name, and then their class. I just yeah. figured it out. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. So this would be one student across and um, actually onto the back, so you would yeah. probably separate them out. So it's a lot of information, and it goes back to grade three, so we can look at um, their trajectory. Right. So you can will. manipulate it by classroom and teacher, is yep. that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. Yep. This is just classroom, great. teacher, grade, <laughs> yep, student. Yep. Um, so yep. it really kind of just helps us to put our use data to the um, instruction. Okay. Nice. Um, we're also taking full advantage of our early release PD time. Kristen Robinson, our literacy coach, and Sue Borowski, occupational therapist, have completed two workshops for our educators. Um, we're also, they provide dozens of practical strategies in use in the classrooms. In addition, educators have um, gone working collaboratively to score assessments, dig deeper into math, review social studies, and much more. So we're, we're really using um, our PD time wisely. Good. Uh, IA trainings just happened. Many DES faculty members and Union 38 educators shared their expertise through leading workshops for IAs for the day and a half that we had. Um, yeah. Anywhere from CPR, social justice, um, poly bath. Planning and uh, conducting workshops requires a great deal of time, and I wanted to thank Sarah Mitchell and Louise Law for organizing and making sure that the IAs had this opportunity. Yeah, that's great. And let's see, we're, we're meeting again with um, Sapphire, and if you guys remember, we brought her in from the collaborative. She does um, social justice, justice workshops, and she's going to be working with our diversity leadership team again, um, working on empowering students, and um, she'll meet with faculty, staff, and families to really focus on um, using common, common language and... Uh, and how do we strengthen our community through the use of common language and responses? Are you doing case management meeting? How, how does that work? Okay. You say working with families? So Where she's going to come in and do a work, workshop on December 6th, I believe, right. and, and just talking about how to handle um, or to speak to some of the um, topics that may come up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, well, yeah, so we're going to do a, a night meeting and we'll do a faculty and staff training after the school hours. And then we do our, as part of our school improvement plan and SPED task force action steps, we've begun to strengthen our communication across special education and general education by inviting our general ed teachers into our case management meetings. Um, we're reviewing like SST procedures 504s and um, li liaison caseloads with them. So some case management there. Good. So family connection, communication. Last week we just had our parent-teacher conferences, last mm -hmm. Monday and Tuesday. And it's kind of our kickoff to collaborating within the school and the home. And as we know, we have parents and family and community working together. It improves academics, it improves school improvement overall. Um, so it's kind of our chance to begin those lines of communication with the parents and the families. It was a nice week. Um, Sometimes it goes a little longer than those day and a half, but great time to, to collaborate and meet the families. We have our coffee connection. We open up the yes to families once a month. This year our focus is on executive functioning. So we've had an opportunity for those mini workshops for parents to come in and kind of hear how we're using the strategies in the classroom. Our next one is November 26th. Not for parents and their executive functioning. 
Could well, be. You could. <laughs> <laughs> How to help those kids also, yes. And we have applications or in that, that, that phase. <laughs> Our next uh, opportunity is uh, November 26th. So I can say that the first two times in Dale, we didn't have too many people show up. So spread the word. We'd like to have, sorry, <laughs> zero people show up. So spread the word. What, what 8.30. 8.30. 8.30 on the 26th is the next opportunity. So next we had another successful uh, kindergarten literacy event. We'll have two school committee members now. I saw them writing down there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Of course, you were asking about the therapist as well. So that's very and that must uh, that must go out on the PTA website, uh, the email blast. The that blast kind of stuff. And I usually yeah. do a weekly pick of the week. Yeah. If anybody, parents, they yeah. communicate often. Yeah, we went to the last PTA meeting also. So yeah, we've okay, several avenues. Yeah. Word of mouth works. Okay. So. Good. It's okay. Yeah. Yep. So then we had another successful uh, kindergarten literacy event that took place right. on October 19th. Uh, it was a chance for Kim MacArthur, the child coordinator, Kristen Robinson, our literacy coach, Wendy Arnold, the reading recovery specialist, and some classroom teachers to learn about literacy development and strategies using games and other methods to kind of incorporate that with the, our early learners. Next we had a, our winter clothing swap. So Katie Smith, our, our nurse here at school, um, kind of took the lead and organized a nice little winter clothing swap where parents mm -hmm. donated items and then we had a chance to kind of swap and pick and choose and then That's great. kind of, you know, get ready for the cold winter months that seem to be coming faster than yeah. I want. <laughs> um, next, the Lions Club. We wanted to thank the Lions Club for providing a lot of warm <coughs> comfort with scarves and mm -hmm. hats and mittens and things like that so that kids who happen to come missing at that day or, or need those extra items for That's recent great. time. It was a nice chance for them, for us to have those supplies here. And last, our <coughs> monthly all-school meeting. So it's kind of a part of a time for us to build a strong community, uh, whether it's a time for the fifth grade classes to share about a field trip or the diversity leadership team kind of talking about what they're doing here or even the kindergarten to come sing a song. Um, it's a nice opportunity for the school to get together, mm -hmm. share what's happening in all the classrooms, and meet as a community and talk about what's what's going great and what you want to share with each other. Okay. When's that? It takes place Tuesday every month. The next one is the 15th, which is Thursday. Right? Thursday, right. Yeah. Thursday at 2. It changes because we want to fluctuate sometimes morning, sometimes yeah. in the afternoon, and different days yeah. of the week so that it doesn't interfere with the same block. Right. In that. right. Good. And then as usual, um, there's a lot of classroom news on the on Yeah, the that you, we'll read through that. Know, that'd, that'd be, be great. great. Thank you. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. Thank you very much for that. Anyone have any questions for our no. team? No? <clears throat> All right. Uh, superintendent's report. All right. We should have that in front of you as well. Yep. Um, we're doing a, a format of... Um, having one report to all the school committees and then just having at the beginning of each one who it applies to and most of them this list apply to most most all the committees. Um, I just want to let everybody know I, I just completed the MARS which is the Massachusetts Association of Regional Schools um, financial training um, which also while this is not being a regional school talks a lot about small schools working with towns and budgets and that kind of stuff and so it's just some professional development I was doing even outside of the new superintendent induction program, which I'm also doing. So I'm kind of, I'm PD overload. And then, <laughs> and then last week, it was, it was, yeah. I'm kind of overloaded right now, but it's yep. just so you know, I'm, I'm doing all those things. Okay. Um, the sale of Christian Lane now has been um, pushed in December. Um, even though this falls on the frontier, it's also you know, obviously part of the central office of mm -hmm. this committee as well. Yep. Um, Who gets that money? Um, I think it's an excellent question. Yeah. <laughs> um, I imagine probably be broken up, but don't coin me on that. It's not a lot of money. It's only thousand dollars. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you buy it? We should have bought it. We probably have to we pay our attorneys' fees and such on that. We probably will. Yeah. We'll, 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 be, we'll be asking you for the remainder. Yeah. Um, is this going to Whitley buying it? Who's buying it? No. no um, a, a third party buyer. A thousand bucks. He's got a lot of uh, stuff underneath. It's, ba it's basically the they get a, they get So, a, the, 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 there's probably some oil tanks there. 
uh, but it's got you know, it's the complexity of the issue is that you'd have to you have to get both properties because mm -hmm. the adjoining property is the ball field which is owned by Wheatley yeah. and the septic systems there as well so whoever was going to go into this has a building that has tons of issues with it yeah. gonna have to get the adjoining lot with it yeah. and um, they put it out there this is before my time but this is yeah. my understanding of it's yeah they're, they're gonna, Pretty much. Pretty much take it down to the stick. Yeah. Um, huh. I think they're probably going to have to after you know, being in there. Although it's got some neat old building feel to it. Sure. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the issue that we have with that right now is our storage. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've been talking to you about this. The, I was trying to renegotiate with the, the, the uh, company that was going to help us with the moving and restorage of the files at Frontier. Um, That's they're King. trying to, what's that? King. King. They're trying to push us off to February now. I'm trying to work with the developer if we can stay in the building longer, mm. or do I have to come up with a plan B? So it's, I mean, that's news as of today. I was on the right. phone, I was also on the phone with the person buying, telling them my predicament, and we're trying to work through um, scenarios there. So it's really, right now, it's nothing. Um, everyone's being helpful, buyers being helpful, um, that kind of thing. Um, but it is a, you know, we have money put aside to pay for the moving and restorage of the files. The question is, um, how much service do we need and how much should we be doing? And I kind of came in going far to very little service being provided then realizing the amount of man hours and what I would be asking my staff. So I'm kind of creeping back up and trying to find somewhere in between. Yeah. In the long run, you know, the money we put aside, there will be savings um, in the long run. So um, I hope that, that's my name. Yeah. Um, update on our executive session from last week, um, not last week, last month. The MOU um, was um, was dropped by the uh, was withdrawn by the association. Okay. So it's just it's a non. Yep. They decided to um, save that for negotiations, and they okay. will bring that up then. Um, so I was pleased with that. Um, and just last, I was saying last week we um, went to MASC. Um, while there was no representative from this committee, um, it was a, a good time. And as you know, how those go, there's. So much different professional development, choosing different things. Um, some were good, some were not as, um, right. as quality, but you kind of bounce around. It's, it's also good to feel the, the whole state, what the whole state is working on in every town. And, yeah. you, know, you, would, you know, you hear about other people's problems and sometimes you're like, wow, you really do have problems yes. compared to what we have. Oh, and then sometimes you say, wow, you have it good. And so it kind of goes back and forth depending um, who you're seeing and that kind of yeah. stuff. And just seeing the different kinds of districts that are out there. Yeah. Um, so that was nice. And then the last thing is the, the collective bargaining. Their negotiations are underway in the sense that we've set dates for the meet and greet. Frontier is, I, I tried to separate to do Frontier and then Union 38 or Union 38 then Frontier. Really could not work with them to, they didn't want to break up anybody. So we're doing all four at once. Um, which I'm not delighted about, but that's what happens. Um, so November 27th, we're going to start Frontier. And we're doing combined units A and C for the meet and greet and ground rules. And then after that, there'll be back-to-back -back meetings. And then on December 12th, I'm waiting to hear from the association if they will combine them together. It's the same group of people on the school side. So a meet and greet and ground rules are usually the same. So we're trying to one less night for everybody out, um, that kind of thing. But I have to wait for them to approve that. So I'm, and I'm waiting on that. So okay. that's the game plan. But if it isn't together, they'll be back to back for those who are on that. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Great. Good. Thank you. Anyone have any questions for Darius? No? All right. Thank you very much for that report. I don't think we have anything for executive session. Sure. It's the last minutes from last time. Oh, great. Thank you. Okay. Great. <clears throat> um, so if, uh, nobody has anything else to add to this wonderful meeting. A uh, motion to adjourn. Thank you all, Thank you all very much. Okay. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned.